before you start the machine, you should always carry out a pre-check of the hauler. This is important for safety. Walk around the machine with the engine switched off. Make sure that the tires are in good condition, the tailgate wire isn't damaged and the tailgate is not getting loose, and that there are no leaks or loose machine parts. If the hauler has been serviced or transported, make sure that the steering lock has been removed and secured. When entering the cab, make sure that you use three-point contact. This means that you should always have at least three contact points, consisting of two hands and one foot, or two feet and one hand. Check the hydraulic indicator on the way up. When cleaning the windshield or the rearview mirrors, always step on the slip protected surfaces on fenders and hood. Make sure that you use the handrails to obtain three point contact at all times. When seated, adjust the operator's seat and the steering wheel so that you have a good working position. Before you start the engine, do not forget to fasten the seat belt. Always use the seat belt. Make sure that the parking brake is applied and that the gear is in neutral. Now you are ready to start the machine. Turn the ignition key to position one. The machine's pre-start check must be allowed to finish. If the machine is equipped with the optional anti-theft system, you must enter the necessary code on the Contronic keypad. Check the rear view mirrors and adjust if necessary. If the preheating light is on, wait for the automatic preheating sequence to finish before you start the engine. Now, turn the ignition key to position three and release it once the engine starts. If the machine is an active suspension model, check that the hydraulic suspension switch is in the operating position. Don't try to engage the active suspension if the machine is strapped down or if there is anybody close to the machine. The Contronic system monitors oil and fluid levels and displays an early warning if anything is wrong. It is important to know that there are two warning levels, yellow and red central warning. The yellow warning means that the cause must be investigated when the machine next stops. The red warning means that the machine must be stopped immediately and the cause investigated. Do not attempt to operate the hauler until the problem is solved. Turn on the headlights, optional work lights, and the warning beacon with LED light if required. Make sure that all lights are working correctly. Adjust the climate control to the preferred temperature in the cab. Do a stationary brake test to make sure that all brakes work properly. Stand still and enter the stationary brake test mode. Follow the instructions in the display. Make sure that the brake pressure gauges show the correct pressure in between the red areas. Close the windows and the door. Make sure no one is close to the machine. Apply the service brakes and put the gear selector into the drive position. Finally, release the parking brake. The cab of the Volvo Articulated Hauler is a safe working environment. It is designed in accordance with the standards ROPS, Rollover Protective Structure, and FOPS, falling object protective structure. If the hauler rolls over, hold on to the steering wheel. 
Do not try to leave the cab until the hauler has come to a complete stop. There are two emergency exits. In case the door cannot be opened, the right and left hand side windows have breakable glass. In an emergency situation, use the emergency hammer to break the emergency exit window of your choice. It can also be used to cut the seat belt. If you need to immediately stop the engine, use the emergency stop. Fill up the fuel and AdBlue DEF tanks, if so equipped, at the end of the shift. This will reduce the risk of condensation in the tank. When parking, use the service brakes to bring the hauler to a complete stop. Put the gear selector into the neutral position and apply the parking brake. If the machine has active suspension, lower the machine by pressing the switch. Let the engine cool down for a few minutes, running at low idle speed, and turn off the lights. Turn off the ignition. This also disconnects the main switch when the system is ready. Always perform a pre-check of the machine before using it. When entering or climbing on the machine, Always use three-point contact, two hands and one foot, or two feet and one hand. Do your best to achieve a good working environment, adjusting the seat and steering wheel. Always use the seat belt. Before starting the machine, make sure that the parking brake is applied and that the gear is in neutral. You can check all vital information on the Contronics display. Use the keypad to access the information. Contronic continuously monitors all vital machine functions and operating data. If a problem occurs, the specific information is displayed together with yellow or red warnings. Yellow means that the cause must be investigated when the machine next stops. The red warning light means that the machine must be shut down immediately and the cause investigated. Never attempt to leave the cab if the machine should roll over. Fill up the fuel and add blue DEF tanks at the end of the shift. Finally, when shutting down the hauler, make sure that the gear is in neutral and the parking brake engaged. 